Okay, so for those of you who have been paying attention, you know that I'm being persecuted by various groups. Okay. Um, the picture on the screen I'm going to use is someone I'm going to say, well, he hasn't been proven in a court of law to be, have been stalking me. But the evidence suggests that he was. And he hasn't necessarily participated in any rapes or tortures. But we see a global group of white Jews and LGBT people who are very much concerned with rape and torture. This is part of why America uh, takes Israel's side. Okay, so there's other considerations like um, Christian, you know, so-called Christians and, and white supremacists in the churches who want to slaughter uh, Muslims and Jews. Okay, and there's a bunch of people with various interests and corporate interests and, and corporate philosophies, and they kind of overlap in certain ways, and they team up together. Um, almost all of them, if not all of them, like to rape and torture people. Now you gotta understand the, the mentality that goes into, you know, Dr. Death in South Africa, for example, who use poisons like they're using on me here in America, here in California, on countless black people in South Africa. The mentality of the Jews who have said to have rioted in Israel, wanting to rape and torture people. The fact that the children who were killed in Israel were disproportionately people of color um, they were you know there's other people living in Israel besides um, Israeli Jews as the story goes a lot of them are crypto Jews if not all of them but the Jews t tend to not care about them as much um, as, as white skinned Jews basically you know we see stories about the Ethiopian Jews being discriminated against what have you so there's people who are more like Arab or something and they were the kids who were killed and during October uh, 7th okay the rapes and the murders that were occurring a lot of these people were uh, people who were visiting from another country right they were people of color so basically they they slaughtered these people and they raped these people okay and the people doing the slaughter and rapes who knows maybe there's jews among them i don't know certainly there's crypto jews in these groups like hamas that have uh disproportionately have power look at the supreme leader of iran carefully and ask yourself is he of jewish descent I don't know for sure, but that's what the evidence suggests. That's how he looks. I've been studying the Jewish people for a while. Now, I'm not racist. I just tell the facts, okay? If it was black people doing it, I would say that they're doing it, okay? So this is just what it is. As somebody who tells the truth and has been exposing um, various uh, coordinated efforts of, of cor corporations to poison and rape and kill people, this is what I do. So basically, the Jewish mentality is kind of Old Testament, right? And so is the Christian church, really. It's a bunch of eye for an eye people. And the answer isn't just to turn the other cheek at every turn either. But obviously their scales are broken. And in Proverbs says, the Lord detests dishonest scales. So I have to rebuke Israel. I'm not on Palestine or Israel's side. Okay. Everyone is in rebellion against God. So I can't be on their side. I'm on God's side. But I certainly rebuke Israel for um, not being honest about what's going on and not using an honest scale. Okay, you basically throw other races under the bus. Uh, sometimes they're mixed with crypto Jews, what have you. And then you use that as an excuse to rape and torture people and massacre people and to take land and so on and so forth. And that's wrong. Right now I'm being fumed and poisoned. I'm watched every day by white Jews and LGBT people. And they sexually harass me. Um, they use technologies uh, to abuse people, including me. And I know this for sure. I know this firsthand. And I have 23 witnesses on record. Again, you know... They don't care if I have 230 witnesses on record, basically, you know, because they run uh, all the institutions here in America. Basically, they run the government. You know, there's token minorities helping them out. Look at Kamala uh, Harris, for example. She looks like a crypto Jew of sorts. Okay. Donald Trump has, you know, uh, his daughter married a Jewish person or something like that. And they, they have a building at 666 or something in New York or something like that. Right. Okay. So. As we look at this situation, the evidence is overwhelming. And what it means to be delusional is to deny the overwhelming amount of evidence. What it means to be raised extremely poorly, like the essence of what it means, is to look at this situation and to conform to the world or take their side or demand that um, I, 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 be, you know, I silence myself. or something. Just, just, just sickening. I mean, people are raised by monsters who get a kick out of raping and torturing people in groups. This is not something some horny guy came up with on his own. This is something they're doing as groups. And they can't contain their desire to cause people to suffer and to, uh, to, to derive pleasure from it. There's a reason why the Marquis de Sade looks like that genome where the Jews and white people overlap. And again, 
It is not my concern, uh, it is not my intention to stigmatize the Jewish people or to keep them from being stigmatized. My intention is to tell the truth, okay? When you see this stuff and it's clear cut, okay, should we not then say, um, prove otherwise, okay? When we see during the uh, trials on Germany, right, all the German people were punished for World War II, even though some of the German people were helping the Jews, right? But they still punished them as a group. And of course, the Jews were insisting that they get punished as a group. So as we look at this thing, it's very appalling to see them to be very disingenuous, to act like complete children, and to harass the most righteous person that ever lived. Now, as you see that thousands and thousands of Palestinian children have been massacred, I'm sure you see that white Jews and LGBT people and their kind of global alliance, and it's not just NATO and America, Russia and China are in on it too, right? There's global corporations with vested interests over various sick things, right? It's every nation in the world. But these nations for whatever reason, are at the center of the global culture. Even the idea of a corporation comes from the West. The, the communism and capitalism, it comes from the West. You know, the wearing suits is something that the West started. We can go on and on. And these are very significant components of, of the global culture. I mean, who says you have to be communist or capitalist? Who says you have to wear a suit? This is something that the West pressed, impressed upon the world. And their particular modes and forms of sexual sadism are also something that the West impressed upon the world. So after, as the story goes, the Jews wandered in Europe uh, for, for many years, um, regardless of what they were before, at some point, either before that or during that, they emerged as people who think uh, like rich white oppressors. And together, they are now raping and abusing the world. There's no hope. Again, I urge you, for the umpteenth time, to not reproduce, okay? There is no hope in the future. There is no moral path. People with decent genes would not reproduce in a world that's this evil, where there's this much technology. They simply wouldn't. So if you think of yourself as decent, you think you're the one, you're, you're going to be like, uh, you know, the, you know you're know you going to be the only person who thinks of themselves as decent and reproduces on the planet. It's fucking retarded. That that's your plan. You're like, okay, everyone's only evil people reproduce, but I'm going to have a kid. Right, fucking retarded. Okay? And don't forget, they're also controlling reproduction. And there's no shortage of people who don't want me to say this. And some pretend they mean well. Maybe they think they mean well. I don't know. But they're like, don't say it. No, no. And it overkills that I'm right. So I'd also like to remind you that I called it why everyone else is ignorant of it, playing stupid, being complicit with it, what have you. I said that there's rape cults running society. And then it's come out in recent years that white Jews and LGBT people who are raping people, turning them out, you name it, human trafficking, what have you, are governing society. I called it before the Epstein scandal. I called it before Weinstein. I called it. Where everyone else was just going along with their social norms, twiddling their thumbs. In fact, they're still going on, going along with their social norms, twiddling their thumbs. Because they're not a great warrior. I am. They're not a true man. I am. If they're an adult female, they're not a grown woman, but I'm a, the man, okay? They've taken on these trickle-down white Jew and LGBT social norms, which don't allow you to be tough. They don't allow you to be a man. You just conform to theater arts, pedo sodism, propaganda, and assorted garbage. You need to snap out of it. You found your life in the essence of founding, finding your life in the world, which is assimilating to white Jewish and LGBT social norms. Those are the main cultures that run the world and yes, they're profane as it gets. So again, I'm not racist. If you think that making this video is unfair, well, explain to me why white Jews and LGBT people and law enforcement and their token minority allies are playing stupid. Why I have over 23 witnesses on record to these people's prolonged uh, racist, hateful harassment campaign against me. And there's countless other people here in America who have reported that things like that are happening to them in a country dominated by white Jews and LGBT financiers, corporatists, what have you. So if you think it's not fair to ask these questions, to highlight these, these similarities in a culture where white Jews and LGBT people themselves make the demons in their movies resemble them. And they've popularized the idea of good cop, bad cop psychology so they can say, ha, 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 you stupid goy or whatever they would call you you know, who are dumb enough to play into their hand and to worship them while they're abusing you and your, their, your families. So explain to me why you think it's unfair.
If you think this video should not be posted, explain to me why you think that.